After the British victories along the Mzima Springs, the local Maasai tribes returned to British service. That and the German Rugga Ruggas, German native irregular soldiers, had been raiding the Maasai populace's livestock. The Germans at Mashi had established a forward patrol base at Loitoktok on the slopes of Kilimanjaro, overlooking the plains between Kilimanjaro and the Chaiulu Hills. The Maasai reported up to 50 German regulars and up to 300 Rugga Rugga garrisoned the Loitoktok patrol base. The Germans would frequently perform sweeps down the slopes to raid and harass the Maasai, who at this time of year would have had their herds of cattle at the base of Kilimanjaro. Even in modern times, Cattle are the economic lifeline of this region. Because of the close relation the British and Maasai maintained, the Germans considered the tribe's livestock as within the rules of war to raid. After one of these raids, the Maasai appealed to Lord Delamere, who appealed to Nairobi. Due to the desert conditions in the area and an attempt to remap the area quickly, cavalry were selected and orders were made on the 16th of October. The 3rd King's African Rifles Mounted Infantry, 50 men amounting to one squadron of two detachments, were sent from Bura. The East African Mounted Rifles in Oldonio, Iraq, dispatched their own squadron, dispatched their own squadron of 50 men to rendezvous with the King's African Rifles at the Kimiana River. The two units met on the 21st of October, having scared off various parties of irregular raiders. No men were lost on either side. The German Rugga Ruggers retreated to Loitoitok each time the British closed on them. But the flip side is the British weren't able to charge the German Ford patrol base at Loitoitok, being that it was garrisoned by around 300 men. Chasing these random raids, real or symptoms of heat or imagined, ended on the 26th of October when both units were ordered back to their starting points. While there was little to show in terms of military gains, economically, the Maasai were able to farm in peace and now had even more faith in the British to be at their defense should they call. While a German raid aimed at the Ugandan Railroad had not been launched from this forward base, the Germans there reported British cavalry were ready to sweep them if they ever tried. For now, the German cattle raids ended 